Good afternoon, everybody. My name is George Pavlidis. Uh, I'm 54 years old, although some people say that's not true, but anyway. Uh, I'm working in the telecom and IT business for the last 26 years. I've been working in various countries all around the world after my uh, studies in Europe, various countries, in the United States, in Canada, and finally in my country, Greece. And I'm happy here today representing Singular Logic to give you an overview of what we are doing. So Singular Logic has a, a great variety of services and products. What we have chosen uh, to present to you today is CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relations in Management. Customer is the reason we are in business. If we keep our customer happy, then we have business and we are all happy. It's a key, uh, I would say, uh, element in the area of business support systems. Uh, we cooperate with various companies like Oracle, for instance, to offer large enterprise systems like Sibel, most probably all of you have heard about it before, to serve corporate customers of ours, like banks, like big telco operators, like big insurance companies, but also uh, aiming in the middle range companies, smaller companies, uh, we have built up uh, CRM systems of our own uh, so as to address this part of market. So as you understand, we address market top down and we have a big experience in this area. I'm going to give you a small overview of what happened in this specific area the last 10 years, the last 20 years actually, starting from late 90s around millennium 2000s. Okay, the main business areas that uh, a CRM system had to address at that time would be what we call customer 360 degrees view. What we would like to know everything that uh, uh, a customer would be interested in, everything. We would like to know his age, we would like to know his business, if possible, we would like to know his income, whatever, whatever legitimate, of course, because that would help an, operation, an operator, a telecom operator or a bank or insurance company to serve him in a better way, offering him the right services and the right products, which could differentiate from one customer to the other. The second part is the service. You have to offer to the customer the service he is asking for. We have to automate uh, the sales force activity. You have to make the, li uh, the customer life easy. If he wants a service or if he wants a product, he has, it has to be very, very easy for him to go on, order it, and get it. That wasn't so easy 20 years ago. It was one of the challenges that a, a good CRM system should address. Of course, we have to facilitate all marketing activities. Of course, we have to ensure the loyalty scheme that are each one of uh, the customers would like to run and impose. You want to make sure that uh, the customers remain to you. They don't run from one company to another. They don't run from one telco operator to another one. To ensure that, to ensure the loyalty, okay, you have to offer through the CRM system the necessary processes activities, maybe even tools, so as to achieve it. For instance, you have to make sure you understand if a customer is not satisfied. Finally, 
what a CRM should also serve is what we call cross-channel integration. It's a quite, let's say, uh, strange word. What does it mean, cross-channel integration? You have a various ways to interact with your customer, okay? A customer can call to your call center, your CTI, and ask for something. Or a customer can uh, log in into your web interface and order from there something. Or he can go to a shop, a shop next door on the road, and ask there for something. From there on and onwards, okay, all the process that has to be followed so as to offer the service uh, should be the same. That's what we faced 20 years ago, okay? I'm going to, in the next uh, uh, presentation, to show you the customers we served all this time, okay, based on this motivo that I offered you before. As you can see, uh, we have all big telco as customers, like Vodafone, like Cosmote, like CETA in Greece. We have also insurance companies like MyDirect or NN. We have uh, flight operators like Aegean and a lot of banks like Eurobank, for instance. Okay, it's not the full list of our customers, it's just an indication of what we have done so far. Uh, at this point, I would like to give you an overview of the uh, of Singular Logic, and I would like to please uh, play the relevant video that I have. Uh, over you. I believe it's better to show something rather than talking all the time. you what we faced 20 years ago but times are changing and something very important to realize is that in the area of technology times are changing very very quickly you have to be able to cope with the change if you don't cope with the change you are out of business you have to evolve or you will be extinct it's simple like this we have seen in the past, in some more obvious areas, a lot of extinctions. Where I could, I think you have all witnessed what happened in the last 20 years in the area of mobile phones. Around millennium, okay, probably you all remember that some vendors like Nokia, like Ericsson, like other vendors, they had the major stake in the mobile phones uh, market up to the time that somebody noticed that there's something missing and has to change. You all know Steve Jobs. He invented iPhone and he changed the way that we used our phones. The phones, the mobile phones stopped has stopped being a tool we use to talk to each other from our bio position. They have become a web browser tool, they have become uh, a camera, they have become a video camera, they have become a lot of different things. Whoever didn't cope with this change, with this new standard set at that time, was extinct from the market. 
and a new era with new players came in. This is a good example, okay, of what this presentation here is saying. Time is changing. You have to cope with it. You have to cope with it fast. And if you don't cope, you're out of business. So, I said uh, that also in the CRM area that I'm now addressing, things are changing. What are the changes? I think everybody's noticing it uh, around, but we don't give time to realize it. Most people will not be impressed by a brochure today. They are used to get information from the internet. They use cloud-based systems. They use uh, mobile browsers. They use a lot social media. We have an explosion of social media over the last decades. Most of the information comes from there, okay? We're talking about a digitalized customer journey right now, nowadays. So the, all the old type of addressing customer needs has to be adapted to these new elements. This is change. Of course, what you should keep is some basic values like the personalized marketing and uh, its technology which gives us uh, these tools to achieve it now. Personalized marketing, personalized services. This is a model that uh, in most uh, CRM systems is followed, but it's extended to all the business support systems, not only CRM. So you have the stakeholders. The stakeholders is everything which is around the business process of a company. You have the channels. The channels are the ways that uh, somebody interacts with a company. You have the personalization. You have to keep, okay? The, the way you address each different customer personalized, taking into account who is it. In the heart of all these systems, it's the CRM, the customer relationship management. The customer relation management, in order to achieve each task, it has to interact with other systems within the IT environment, the IT infrastructure of a big organization. Finally, you have to achieve a seamless experience. Seamless experience is a, a term which is broadly used in a lot of uh, uh, different business uh, support systems. And it means that if a customer wants something, no matter what way he asks it, all the business systems involved in this request of his has to be working in the same way. If a customer calls the CTI and complains about something, he calls an operator, okay, in the call center of the operator, and he, he files a problem that he has, a complaint that he has. Or if he logs in in the web uh, interface of the, the big operator or the big insurance company or the bank, and he files there a, a, a complaint. Or a request for a new service, for instance. Different channel. Okay, or even if he goes to the, to the bank next door, to the local uh, bank in, uh, in his uh, neighborhood. The way that this request is handled by all the IT infrastructure of the operator has to be the same, has to be seamless. That facilitates a lot all the systems that are involved in, into uh, the organization, it makes them work effectively, simple, and finally, cheaper. Above all, it keeps the customer happy. Because if the customer goes 
using one channel and he gets one way uh, of acting and he goes through another channel and he gets a different way of acting, then he's not satisfied. He thinks that the service offered is not sufficient. More or less, he thinks that they don't know what they're doing here. Seamless experience, customer's experience, is something that is generally acclaimed by all organizations. We have witnessed this as a basic requirement from all our customers. And that's what we are trying to achieve through a CRM, which is in the heart of all these uh, six rings of modern customer experience that I mentioned before. I will close my uh, presentation with a case study. Nova is uh, uh, a big uh, operator in Greece offering uh, uh, TV services, more or less. The challenge is uh, not only they, they are trying to offer also uh, uh, telephony uh, services later. We'll see where does that lead. The challenge there was a lack of a centralized campaign system. They want to, to run campaigns towards their customers. So they had a little uh, SQL base. They were making SQL queries, extract some list of uh, telephone numbers or emails, okay? And they were addressing them by sending SMSs or emails. The problem with that, the challenge, they couldn't monitor, okay, how the campaign evolves. They couldn't monitor the responses to the campaign. You send an email, is there a reaction to it? Does the customer do something in relation to the campaign you are proposing to him? What are the results? What are the statistics, the analytics of all this campaign that you have run? Okay, finally, they wanted to run personalized, uh, to have personalized experience based on the result of the campaigns and they couldn't have it. What we propose them is uh, in relation to uh, a system provided, uh, a cloud-based system uh, provided by Oracle. It's called Eloqua. Most probably some of you who are working in digital marketing area have heard about it. It's quite uh, uh, spread nowadays. So you don't have to have a platform on your customer you can run it on the cloud, okay? Like that, you save a lot of uh, uh, cost in relation to running a whole system into your operation, into the customer's operation. We have integrated with the Sibel CRM, which also uh, was already in installed into the Nova uh, uh, base system. And we have uh, also established some cloud connectors to, so as to run SMS and push notifications. The results, they have a centralized campaign management tool. It was simply and easy. The customer segmentation, you were asking, give me back from the database all the male customers, all the male customers which are between 20 and 25 years old all the male customers who have already bought this service before, all male customers who have whatever. So you were addressing it very, very uh, uh, targeted. You know who you are applying to. And finally, uh, you have a, an increased customer engagement via personalized experience. You could witness the people that you are addressing through uh, the campaign coming back and asking specific services in response to the specific campaign. Quite effective, actually. That concludes my presentation. I hope it was interesting. Thank you very much. <laughs>